matters, in accordance with the determination of the Business Committee, I call on Marima Davidson to make her maiden statement. Tanakwe. Te mea, ko te hāngu tanga o te wahine, he taonga tuku iho nō tā uki uki, nō tātou kuia. E kao, māku e ki atu, e hara tēnei kauhau mō te wahine e whai mana ana, e ngari kēhia, ko te mana o te wahine, he mana wahine, he mana tūturu, nō mai rāno, tai timu, Tai pari e kore mutu. Ko whetu matarau te maunga, ko waiapu te awa, ko te whānaua hinerupe, te whānaua tāpuhi oku hapu, ko ngāti parau te iwi. Ki te taho tōku pāpa, ko te ramaroa me pangaru ngā maunga, ko whirinaki me hoki anga ngā awa, ko te hikatū me ngai tūpoto ngā hapu, Ko ngā puhi me te rarawa ngā iwi, ko a hau tēnei, tihei, mauri ora. Mihi atu ki a koutou e pupuri tonu ana ki te mana o te whenua nei, tēnā koutou te ati awa, taranaki whānui hoki, kia ora. I have been inspired by grassroots leadership all of my life. This is a real leadership which understands that the throbbing heartbeat of a community lies with the collective well-being of our people and our environment. I owe my political analysis and my stand in this house to the visions and support of so many grassroots groups. These are the people who uphold our duty of care to each other and our planet. This includes our Green Party activists and members who have entrusted me to enter Parliament only two and a half years after I became a member of the Greens. I am honoured by your faith. The support that my family and I have received is a taonga that enriches my heart daily. My neighbourhood, my friends and my wider whānau have looked after us in many a demanding moment. You know that I know who you are. I'm clear that you ask for nothing except my ongoing contribu contribution to an uplifted future for all of us. In this debating chamber, I am honoured to be a voice for the Green Party and for my communities. My nana, is Patricia Charlotte Broughton, Ni Hensi of Ngaitupoto in Te Rarawa. She was born in Motukraka in Hokianga <sighs> in, in 1926. She grew up there apart from attending St Joseph's Māori Girls College in Hawke's Bay. She was a native speaker of Te Reo, a staunch Catholic, a mother to seven tamariki, grandmother to nine mokopuna, and great-grandmother to 23 so far. <laughs> Nan married my papa, Boyd Alex Broughton, of Te Hikatu in Ngāpuhi. I had least time with papa as we lost him when I was nine. But I remember him as a beautiful, gentle, and kind, loving man who my nana loved deeply. My nan and papa were a part of the Māori migration to urban centres in the 50s. They left their Turanga Waiwai in Motukraka and brought their young tamariki eventually to live in Otara in Auckland. I was 14 years old when my nan passed away. So that was a long time ago. But the fact that I can almost never talk about her publicly without crying is testament to the impact she still has on my life. From the start, my nana was warm, overly doting, and exemplified our whakatauki, he taonga te mokopuna. 
My beautiful older cousin, Jean, is the oldest mokopuna, but we didn't find out about her until I was six years old, and we have been grateful for her ever since. But I, in effect, was the first person to make my nan an actual nan. And I was born on her and my papa's 25th silver wedding anniversary. I've been told I was a fantastic anniversary present. <laughs> my nan to me felt physically and spiritually like a soft, squishy, gentle and caring nana. From a young age, I got a sense of us, her mokopuna, being the absolute center of her universe. What I did not know of until later was her stubborn commitment to justice. I must have been about 12 or 13 when my nana took me to her work one day. She ran the lunch cafe at a large firm in Otara. Extra help was needed on this particular day and the boss had asked my nan if she knew of anyone. Nan's boss agreed that I could come in and help them out for the day. I remember helping my nana prepare kai for the workers, wash dishes, serve customers and clean the kitchen. It was a good day of mahi. At the end of the day, my nana's boss refused to pay me. He tried to worm his way out of the agreement, saying that I had come in for, quote, work experience. <laughs> I'll never forget my nan's face as she glared at her boss in the eye. She sent me away to wait in the hall while she sat opposite her boss trying to sort it. But even from a distance, I could feel her staring the unfairness down. Here was my soft, squishy, gentle-voiced, lovable nana, who I had never seen face conflict in my life, putting up a relentless fight for her wronged granddaughter, for me. I, I cannot actually remember what became of that heated debate, but what I can remember is how Nan made me feel. <sighs> to this day, my whole being recalls her fierce determination to right a wrong, her courage to not let the power imbalance dominate her, her commitment to ensure that those most vulnerable had someone sticking up for them, and her gumption to hold her line no matter what. If I could bring a tiny bit of my nana's mana to my work, then I will know that I have succeeded. My name is Marama Davidson, and I come from a long line of stubbornness. <laughs> Indeed, my own parents met on these very steps of Parliament. They were young, urban displaced Māori in the 70s. They came to protest the loss of land and language that our people had shouldered. They were just hungry for their whakapapa. I'm honoured to be a member of this House today, continuing their fight on the very same steps. Our world desperately needs us to reconnect with each other and our living systems. The challenges that we are facing today are born from disconnection. Everything is supposed to be connected. We are supposed to be connected to each other as neighbours and as a global community. My well-being is, to, is supposed to be connected to yours. We are supposed to be connected to the life systems that nourish us. We are supposed to be connected to the future we are designing for our mokopuna and generations to come. My pride in my whakapapa is supposed to be connected to your pride in yours. When we are disconnected, we create grossly unequal societies that are unstable and we damage our living systems and our climate. These are the challenges of the 21st century and they are inextricably connected. Inequality and climate change perpetuate each other. 
Indeed, to tackle either, we have to tackle both. What I've seen happening is successive governments protecting and penalising the wrong people. They've got it completely backwards. They've pulled out the red carpet for the big corporations who have at their core the pillaging of earth, the extraction of its natural resources and the exploitation of its people. They want to share the risks but not the benefits. Meanwhile, they are penalising the people who protect and strengthen our communities, our economy and our natural world. What I am inspired by globally are the indigenous peoples who are fighting against the short-sighted agendas that will destroy their place and their people. We have to understand that affirming indigenous rights and supporting our traditional wisdoms is essential to combating climate change and inequality. Thankfully, tangata whenua and non-Indigenous people everywhere are melding our wisdoms and our strategies to demand a new way together. Because we can see that the very few protecting the status quo want most of us kept out of their fancy club. Together, we all have a bigger club than theirs. At the beginning of this year, my family were priced out of our rental property and so we sought another cheaper house in Auckland to rent. I looked at 30-something houses and applied for 20-something of them. For some properties, there were more than 30 other applicants. I did not get called back for any of them and I started to feel every bit of whatever it was that meant that we were not preferred renters. Finally, we got a call back, and it was for a house that no one else was lining up for. It is the house we are renting now, and we all love it and are grateful for it. It's a great house. Fast forward nine months, I'm now an MP looking for accommodation in Wellington, and the reception I've had couldn't be more different. <laughs> I've gone from being at the back of the house hunting line to being right at the front. You know what? You shouldn't have to become an MP to get a house to live in. I will relish the opportunity to make a difference with my social housing portfolio. <laughs> I recognise that even then, when I was searching for a home in Auckland, compared with others, I was still dripping with privilege. I know that for too many, the search for a home is far more desperate. In my community of Manurewa, nearly 30% of young people were unemployed at the last census. It was only 18% in 2006. In my community, people are living in homes so filled with mould that it's making kids sick. In my community, people are working two or more jobs and are still struggling to pay for the food their children need. Families are literally struggling to survive. Protecting that failed economy is cowardice. Creating a long-lasting economy and society that works for all of us will take some guts. And the communities who have the guts need this place to back them. They need us to feel the urgency and excitement that they feel about creating change. E te mangai o te whare, ka huriau ki tōku reo rangatira. Katahi anō au ka tīmata i taku ohonga reo. E tika ana ka tuku mihi honore ki a koutou e hāpai ana i te reo. Ara ko ngā kaiako, ngā kaiawhina, ngā tohunga o tēnei mahi ki a kōrero te a te reo. A, mihi māhana ki a koutou o te whare paremata kua fiu atu tēnei taonga tuku iho. Ki ngā wahine matatau, Reka rawa te whakarongo atu ki o koutou tū ki runga i te reo. Āna, nanaia mahuta, hekia parata, 
Marama Fox Ma Naira Takuwaroha Kia Koto. Engari Te Maha Hoki Onga Tangata Pena Kia Pena Yamawa Kometiria Karia no Mata Kia Fifi. He Mari Tonu Mato. Kaya Mato Tonu Te Aroha Mote Nairo Atahua. Ahakua te whakamaki te kōrero, ahakua te mamai. I tēnei wā, ka mihi ki te ao papāho, i tō koutou akiaki ki au, ki te kōrero, ahakua ngā hapa, au e te maha. E ai ki te kōrero, mā te hapa kāko. A, me haere tonu mātou, e ako tonu ana. Nō reira, ka tino tautoko au i te mahi whakapiki reo. He mahi whakapapa, he mahi mokopuna, he mahi tiriti o waitangi i tēnei. I am proud to be wearing this korowai, which represents my ngai tūpoto whakapapa, my nana's people. My uncle said it'd be good to get a bit of ngai tūpoto kākahu in the house because there's too many ngāti hine in here, they reckon. Ki o kufanaunga o ngāti hine, Winston, Pita, Rino, Penny, Ria Ma, anei taku pati pati kia koutou. My whole family have travelled here for this moment because it belongs to all of us collectively. I love you all so much. Thank you. Hari huri tau ki a koe e taku pirinihi taku ira mutu he kōtiro kaitiaki o te reo ko hana a maia māringi para tene aroha mutunga kore mōu. Kwa waru ia. My six off the charts, stunning, incredible children whose sacrifice is about to get very real. You are my everything. Hiria, Anna, Dakota, Manawa, Horota, Taina. I love you. <laughs> to a beautiful man, Paul, who absolutely hates the limelight doesn't care too much for politics and would rather sit in the hidden spaces, I am sorry that you married into absolutely the opposite. <laughs> ironically, you still stand with me and ironically, it is all that you are and that you do for us that is the only reason I can be here in this very public, very political space. I love you. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't wait to get started with this amazing green caucus. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> we like to keep our water clean and for everybody. <laughs> I'm really humbled by people who made sacrifices to come here. I see you and people who continually make sacrifices for our causes. You are why I'm here. Every time I stand in this house, I will remember that. Because this place is here to serve the people, the people are not here to serve government. And as my co-leader Metiria has said, the power in our country belongs to the communities and part of my job is to get the government to step aside, to set up systems so they work well, and then to get out of the way and let communities take control of what they need and deliver for their people. Nō reira, nei te mihi aroha ki a koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, Huri noa ki a tātou katoa. Kia ora.
when should I do it? Members, the House stands adjourned until 2pm tomorrow.